Hey guys, it's Dom. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine, what I do to get my hair looking from this to this. Today my hair looks kind of crazy. I haven't washed it in four days. Now with curly hair, I really don't wash it too often, maybe once or twice a week, usually twice a week if I'm doing lots of hairstyles for school because I don't want to dry out my hair, which will dry out my curls. So this is what my hair looks like today. It's super naughty, super crazy, oily because I put some oil on it last night to help promote hair growth. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go into the shower. I only brush my hair while it's wet because that prevents me from losing a lot more hair than I already do in the shower. For conditioner, I go in with the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner or I go in with the Miracle Curls Conditioner. Right now I only have the shampoo of this one. I really like both lines of these conditioners and shampoos, so I would highly recommend you go and try those out. First thing I do when I get into the shower is I use a shampoo. Now for shampoos, I make sure I look for things that have no sulfates, no paraben, no glycol, no mineral oil, no petroleum. This is just really helpful for curly hair. So the shampoo that I'm going to be using today is the Shea Moisture Manuka and Honey Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. Now after I use shampoo, I go in with a conditioner and that's when I brush out all the knots out of my hair. Now I usually go in with a deep conditioner or a hair mask after I use my conditioner and shampoo. That way I can just look at lots of extra moisture and I leave this in while I'm doing all the rest of my showering things. So if I go in with a hair mask, I usually use the Shea Moisture Manuka and Honey Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Now this I find leaves my hair looking really shiny and really hydrated. I haven't tried out many other hair masks, but I've been really liking this one so far. Now if I go in with the deep conditioner, I use this Silk Elements Cara Minerals Hair Smoothing System. Now to be honest, my mom had this, so I tried it out. This leaves my hair feeling really moisturized. I definitely have been absolutely loving Aussie's curling products because they're super affordable. I just buy them at Walmart. They range from like two to five dollars. They're really inexpensive. This video is not sponsored in any way possible, but I mean, Aussie, if you want to hit me up, go ahead. They're really good quality and they don't have any of those bad ingredients that harm curly hair. Now for while I'm actually inside of the shower, I just use a paddle brush to brush out my curls. I find that this works just fine. I'm not sure where I got this one from, but you can literally find brushes anywhere. I've been really wanting to try out a Denman brush for styling, but don't really have one. And then I use this Babyless Pro Scalp Massager. Now this is really good to just lift off all of that dirt and stuff from your scalp. It also helps with hair growth because hair massages help promote hair growth and my hair used to be really short after I cut it and then it has since grown back and also I have these bangs that have also grown back like very quickly. So I'm just gonna go hop into the shower and then I will come back and do the rest of my curly hair routine with you guys. Hey guys, so I am done and I'm out of the shower. I'm just gonna go put on my outfit for the day. Then I will show you guys what I am going Going to do with my hair. Okay guys, so I have my hair in this microfiber towel cloth from Norwex and this is so much better for your hair than using a regular old towel. It doesn't dry out your hair and cause as much damage. I'm just gonna take my hair out of my microfiber towel cloth. I style my hair while it is still damp. As you can see, it's not fully dried. It's still pretty wet. My hair does dry very quickly though, so I'm going to move very quickly. Today, I did end up doing a hair mask, the Shea Moisture One, and my hair feels so smooth, so soft, and it doesn't even have any products in it, and it looks so shiny already. First things first, I do put some oil in my hair that helps with hair growth and just keeps my hair moisturized for the time that I do it. Now you can use literally any oil. Sometimes I use black castor oils, but right now I'm just going to be using this Dax Indian Hemp Deep Conditioning Moisture. It looks like this, kind of looks scary, but it smells so amazing. And so I just take some of it and rub it in between my palms and just massage that into my scalp. 
I do have 3B hair. It's a lot more straight on the top and more curly on the bottom, but it's definitely not very kinky. Curly hair in general is just kind of difficult to manage, and I'm still in the process of learning how to manage it, but I think what I've learned so far has been really great. And then with the extras, I just take it and work it through the rest of my hair. So my hair is drying kind of quick, so I have just this little spray bottle with a tiny bit of a leave-in conditioner in it. You always just want to work on damp hair. Oh, I just sprayed my feet. Especially my ends, they dry insanely quick. So then for a brush, I don't have any fancy brush or anything like that. I take this wood brush. A wood brush is also really great because it doesn't absorb any of the extra moisture inside of your hair, I think. Someone, some other curly person said that using a wooden brush was really good for your hair and we just so happened to have one in our house already. So I'm going to work with half of my hair at a time. So I'm just gonna take this scrunchie and tie my hair up very lightly just so it's out of the way if you're in the curly hair community this is a product that you've definitely heard of the shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie this is so amazing i noticed such a drastic change in my curls when i started using this my hair looked more moisturized it didn't get as frizzy this is really great and it smells really great so then i just take about this much and rub that through my hands ASMR and I just rake this through my hair and then I just take a brush and I brush this through my hair I've actually been thinking of getting a balayage done to my hair I don't know I thought that would be really cute okay next up in my routine I'm going to take a gel through my hair the gel I'm going to be using is the Aussie headstrong volume gel 24 hour lift in one use. This is the maximum hold gel one. I really like this because it doesn't really make my hair crunchy, but it still has like that super good hold and it like stays in my hair for a long, long time. So with this, I just take about this much and I just run this through my hair. Sometimes I do this in sections with my hair and go strand by strand. And sometimes I do it all through my hair like I'm doing now, but I just take I think they call this like the, the praying way uh, I don't know but I just try and distribute the product evenly through my hair I rake the rest through my hair I'm just gonna take a little bit more gel really make sure I'm hitting those spots where uh, my curls don't really hold like the back of my head because my hair is a little bit more drier there closer towards my scalp and making sure that I get those ends as well and then I just brush this through my hair to make sure that I got the product distributed evenly next up I take a little strand from starting from the back not very big and then I just brush it out and then I have the br hold the brush this way and then I rotate it and pull it downwards. After this, I scrunch this and then you can see there are some nice curls starting to form. Then I just put this in the back of my head, that way it doesn't get in the way and I don't redo it. And I just continue this process. So what I do for these front pieces is I brush it straight and I'm just going to finger coil it. So what I do is I take my finger up down here and then I just go all the way up. I'm not like an expert at this technique, not at all. And then I just... This really helps to incorporate my bangs into like my long hair. That way my bangs don't just have a different curl pattern than the rest of my hair. So this is a really nice way that I like to hide them and then i take all of this hair and just give it a couple extra scrunches this is what it's looking like so far now one thing that is so underrated that probably lots of people have yet to try is mousse i love mousse if i could pick any curling product i would pick conditioner first because moisture and then mousse i really like this one this is the sprunch mousse this one kind of leaves my hair looking a bit more pillowy soft and all of the products that i've mentioned in this video are super affordable you can find them at like walmart shoppers london drugs really anywhere with this mousse i think i am so obsessed with the sound that it makes i rub this through my hands 
And then first I kind of just pat it around the sides just so I can get product distributed evenly. And then with the remainder, I scrunch. Now basically I scrunch until all the product has been combined into my hair. And then just look how extra curly these are. And they're gonna get even curlier when I diffuse them. So I'm gonna go finish the other half of my hair off camera and then I will come back to show you how I diffuse and dry my hair. Okay, so for the diffuser that I'm going to be using today, I'm using this blow dryer from Hot Shot Tools and then I just use the Hot Shot Tools diffuser attachment. I keep it on high speed and medium heat. I never use high heat. I think that's just too harsh for your hair, especially curly hair. I don't want any breakage, but I still want my hair to dry fast. So the first thing that I do when diffusing my hair, I blow dry all around the outside. That way the mousse and the gel can set before I actually start, you know, scrunching up my hair. Oh, take me on this journey home. I'm just gonna go lightly around my roots, not leaving it there for too long, but just trying to dry them a little bit more because they are the part of my hair that takes the longest to dry. Okay guys, so now for the part that everybody has always seen, they've seen it on TikTok, they've seen other color hair routines, I'm just gonna keep scrunching my hair until 90% dry, 95% dry, basically till it's dry. When my hair is at about 70% dry, I flip my hair over and diffuse it upside down. That way I can get the maximum amount of volume. I would say that it's 90% dry maybe. So far, these are what the curls are looking like. They're looking really defined. They're not crunchy whatsoever. They feel like pillowy soft. They smell great. I'm just gonna continue diffusing for about five more minutes, just the back of the hair and maybe just a little bit at the bangs. That way I can get it to 100% dry and then I will come back to you guys with the finished result. Hey guys, so I think that is all the diffusing I think I'm gonna do for today. If there's any pieces that are still wet, I'm just gonna let them air dry. But one thing else you can do is you can pick out your roots or sometimes I just go like this, give it a bit of a shake, and then I just leave my hair like this. As you can tell, my bangs, they kind of blend in a little bit more on this side. They like look really good. This side didn't quite turn out how I wanted them to, but it's okay because I never leave my hair like this. What I usually do is I take the section where my bangs are and tuck it behind my ears. If you guys want to see a video of different hairstyles that I do throughout the week or how I maintain my curls throughout the week, please comment it down below and I will be sure to make one. If you like me or you like any of my content, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Let me turn around.